welcome back to Kids Ministry at Home. We're over here at Max Place today. It's June, summertime. All right, let's get ahead and get ready for our service ahead and pray with, with uh, Mr. Joe. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great week. It is a beautiful day. We're gonna have a wonderful time together. Yes. Are you ready? Okay, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for an awesome time today. Thank you that we're gonna learn something new and exciting. We love you and we praise you and we give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, well, let's get ahead and get ready for core values. We're going to say hi to, hi to Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hey, kids. It's time for core values. What's core value number one? Love God. And why do we love God? Because God is love and he first loved us. What's core value number two? Love people. Why do we love people? because God loves all people. What's core value number three? Do your best. And why do we do our best? Because God does the rest. What's core value number four? Have fun. And why do we have fun? Because God gives us joy. Great job, kids. You guys, it's the weekend. Welcome to church. I'm Jesse, and uh, what we're gonna do right now is go and worship. Um, Worship, in case you don't know, is where we bring an offering to God. So this is like, this time we're gonna be doing uh, 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 singing. Uh, you can also dance. Some people might like crab walk into worship or, or worship on one foot. <laughs> Let's go to worship.
excited and ready for worship. This time together reminds me of Psalm 34, one through three in the Bible. It says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let's exalt his name together. You see, Jesus gave us his all by the love he showed on the cross. He took all our sin and shame, and now we have new life and peace in him. So come on and join him with everything you've got, and let's celebrate and praise him for all he's done. Breathe deep, every breath I take is from you. those high notes. If, if you didn't sing that with somebody and you didn't both just like plug your ears for each other, uh, then you're doing it wrong. Church is supposed to happen with people. Go ahead and invite them in. Parents, uh, grandparents, siblings, aunt, uncle, whoever, just bring them over here because we're about to have our comment section question. Here it is. Could you go longer not talking or not using your hands? I'm doing both right now. Uh, so uh, you can see either one of these would be really hard for me. Um, I think though for me, like, when God asked me to be still and quiet with him, the being still is the hardest part for me. Um, how about you? What, what, what could you do? Could you, could you give up your hands or your voice longer? Yeah, I think it would definitely be, I, I'd have a hard time giving up the use of my hands. Um, what about you? Why don't you go ahead Try that out this week. See, see, you know, put oven mitts on your hands, see if you can not use them, or put tape over your mouth, see how long you can go, and let us know. Um, this episode is all about quiet and slowing down. So let's see how that goes. What's up, Loopsters? We are looking back at some of our favorite episodes of The Loop Show and some of our favorite challenges. 
<laughs> and this lovely ensemble is from our silent seat challenge. You want to demonstrate how this becomes a seat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still. Do you need help? I, I'm safe. <laughs> oh. It's just slide. <laughs> okay. There. Is that a, is that a proper seat for you? Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm comfy. All right, Jamie. So we're not going to tell you too much about what we did in the challenge, but Jamie, what's your favorite part about the challenge? Trying not to laugh. Because it was silent. We couldn't laugh out loud. It was so hard. Okay, without giving anything else away, enjoy the challenge and the ride. Enjoy the ride. your host for the Loop Show, Survival Games. This week's challenge is all about silence. Shh. Ricky and Jamie are not allowed to make any noise. Shh. Also, we've added two new items to the picnic table of doom. Vegemite and prune juice. The winner of today's challenge will get to choose what goes in their backpack and also what goes in their partner's pack. Here's our challenge. The silent seat challenge. Using your special silent seat onesies, one at a time, you must silently sit on the three items here. We'll be monitoring you with this decibel meter. The quietest one wins the survival challenge. Uh -huh. Are you guys ready? Let's get you suited up. <laughs> okay, this decibel reader here is going to measure how loud you sit on the items. <laughs> Let's bring in your special seat onesies. You're up first, Ricky. Okay. Let's bring in the first item. Crispy. Okay, Jamie, you're gonna sit on that and that's gonna measure your sound. Let's begin. That is talent. Okay, Ricky. You're up. Jamie was too loud. All right, let's go for round two. Tea time. All right, Jamie.
Let's bring in the second prop. What a lovely sound. Okay, Ricky, you're up. Jamie was too loud. Okay, Ricky won two. Jamie lost two, but it's not over yet. We're going to do the third item and average out the numbers to see who the winner is. Jamie, you're up. Wooden balance block party game. Oopsie daisy. Ricky, you're up. see who the final real winner is i mean jamie was too loud ricky wins champion okay stay tuned to see what ricky chooses from the picnic table of doom We speak to God through prayer, but how does He speak to us? Do you ever feel jittery or antsy, like your mind just won't rest? Does it feel like the noise and the distractions of the world are beating down on you? Well, what if you withdrew for a while? See, Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. In the middle of Luke's account of Jesus, right in the middle of a busy chapter where Jesus was healing and forgiving and teaching, it says that Jesus withdrew from the crowd. He knew that solitude realigned him with God. Jesus put himself in situations where he could silence his mind and listen to God's voice. See, it's a life-saving skill to find retreat. When space scares us, we tend to fill it, but seek space, slow down. What if we allowed God the space to talk to us? What would we hear him say? It can be hard to find stillness in our world today. 
You probably have times where you feel stressed, anxious, or completely overwhelmed by all the things that are expected of you. God knows exactly how you feel. Remember, Jesus lived as a human here on earth. Can you imagine all the things that people expected from Him? He had crowds of people following Him everywhere, asking Him for healing, teaching, and miracles, which is why Jesus regularly made time to get away from the crowds, to be by Himself, to pray and meditate in stillness. God wants to be your refuge, which is just a fancy way of saying your safe place. God tells us to spend time in His presence, not just to pray or read the Bible, but to be still and listen as well. That's all that meditation is, listening for God. So how do you do that exactly? Start small. Set aside five minutes where you can be alone and quiet. You can sit on the floor, on a chair, or even lie down, whatever's comfortable for you. Close your eyes and start to focus on your breath. Notice where you can feel your breath moving in your body. Maybe you can feel the air moving in and out of your nose. Maybe you notice your chest or your ribs moving in and out with your breath. Maybe you can feel your belly moving in and out. Focus your attention on that place where you feel your breath moving the most. Begin to lengthen out your breath, inhaling slowly and exhaling slowly. Don't worry if your mind wanders. It always will. When you notice that you're thinking about something else, focus your attention back on your breath again. Be aware that God is always with you. He will never leave your side, and He is always on your side. We just forget that sometimes in the busyness of life. You can choose to sit quietly for a few more breaths, or you can choose a verse from the Bible to meditate on. If you don't have a Bible verse memorized, you can read one slowly. Pause after each phrase to think about what that phrase means. Read these verses along with me now. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths.
bringing honor to his name. Taking just a few minutes to focus on your breathing and to remember that God is always with you, guiding you and giving you everything you need can help you feel less stressed and a little quieter on the inside. You don't have to set aside a special time to do this. You can do it whenever you feel like you need a little break. Try doing it before you start your homework to help you focus or before bed to help you relax. God is always there. Okay, Ricky, since you won this challenge, you get to pick two items from the picnic table of doom. Okay, this week, give yourself some space. Pause and retreat, unplug and withdraw. Be still and listen. In the stillness and in the madness, God is there with you. Will you listen to his voice as he's inviting you closer to him? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are near to us in the middle of the chaos, in the middle of the madness, the busyness and distractions of life. You are there right next to us, cutting through the noise so that we can hear your voice. And what I know is that all around the world, there are those of you who maybe have never felt the presence of God near to you, but today, maybe you're feeling that for the very first time. And what I hope you know is that God loves you so much, that God wants to be near to you, that God is near to you but maybe it's because of the distractions or the noise of life that you just haven't ever taken the time to simply be still and feel his presence. What I hope you know though, is that God made a way for that to happen. God, 2000 years ago, he sent his son Jesus to die on a cross for you and for me so that we could be forgiven of all of our sins. We could be made right with God. It didn't just make us better, it makes us new. God wants to make you new. God wants you to know him because of how much he loves and knows you. And maybe today you're realizing that that's what you've been missing, a relationship with God, and that that is what you want. And if that is you, then guess what? That gift is called grace and it is completely for free. And God is offering that to you today. So if you're in here and you want to say yes to Jesus, to make the most important choice of your life, then simply lift your hand right now. All around the world, what we know is that there are students making that choice for the very first time, and we are so proud of you. So everybody pray with me together. Repeat after me, dear Jesus, forgive me. I'm turning from my sins. I'm turning toward you. I need your love. I need your grace. And I need your mercy. I give you my life. And everybody said, hey, amen. Hey, we are so proud of you for making that choice. It is the best decision you could ever make in your life. Now, here's the thing though, before you leave, please tell somebody because we wanna help you grow in your new journey of following Jesus. So talk to your small group leader, tell somebody so we can help you grow in becoming a follower of Jesus. You guys, can you hear that? That's literally like confetti party poppers going off in my heart because I'm so excited for you guys that just made that decision. I'm so excited for you. Uh, like he said, first thing you wanna go do is tell an adult that you really, really trust because they're gonna help walk you through this whole thing. Um, our next step as, as a whole group, all of us watching, uh, we're gonna go through this Bible plan. It's called How to Survive Middle School. Um, as you can see here, you can go search for that in the YouVersion Bible app or you can go to this URL and it has a whole list of all of our Bible plans that you can go take a look at. On top of that, on top of our Bible plan, um, we're gonna do this challenge. Uh, I want you to try it out. It's a big one. So our Bible verse this week talks about how Jesus withdrew to the wilderness to pray. 
Uh, so if he prayed and we want to be like him, then, then we should pray. Praying for a long time is really hard, but so, so this is how we're going to break it down. Today, I want you to set a clock, set a timer for one minute and pray for that one minute. Tomorrow, you're going to add another one. Two minutes. You're going to pray for two minutes. You're going to do that every day this whole month until you get to 30 minutes. Don't, don't cry. Don't whine. <laughs> That's not what we're doing right now. We're actually going to try this. We want to be like Jesus. Let's, let's withdraw to the wilderness to pray. Spend some time with God. Um, if you're going to have a hard time, you know, doing this whole thing, especially as you get up into the 10s and 20s, start to journal. Write down your prayers or, or you can uh, play worship music and, and pray to worship music. You can, you can invite someone to pray with you. Um, you know, in, in the comments, if you wouldn't mind, write down on a scale of one to five, five being the hardest, how hard do you think this will be for you? And, and for those of you that are putting more like on the one or two scale, could you give us any tips, any ideas or advice on, on how to pray longer, better? Um, this is a big one, let's do this as a group. Now, my good friend, the discussion question slide is gonna come up and we're gonna talk uh, to our families about these questions. guys uh, so glad to be with you today and uh, we love you we're praying for yes. you okay so let's pray together now yes. father in Jesus name we thank you for our time together yes. thank you that we had an awesome time it will not be long until we're together again yes. and so we just thank you for helping us to uh, just keep uh, um, our eyes on you help us to obey our parents and uh, protect us and our families this coming week in Jesus yes. name amen amen all right Remember here at WLCC, kids, kids rule. rule. Have a great week. Bye. Love you. Love you.